Okay, so the first thing we need to do as part of our rig is basically put the joints in. So uh, we need to make a skeleton, and that is more or less the main driving force of our model and uh, its flexion. So we got to put a skeleton inside here. So that's what we're going to do. All right. Um, so let's do this from the side view here. So I'm going to tap spacebar, tap spacebar, and we'll go side view, tap spacebar, and I'm going to back this up. All right. And what we're going to do is switch to rigging menu set, and we're going to go skeleton, create joints. Um, it's probably fine by default. Uh, what I want to do is a couple of things here. You'll notice that when I draw them, see how I can't see them? Um, that's because uh, the model's in the way. It's actually drawing it on the grid. So I'm going to make sure that it's x-rayed. I can click this, or if you just go to shading x-ray joints, that will also work, okay? So uh, I'm also going to do this. I'm going to put wireframe on shaded by clicking on this, and that way I can see my geometry a little bit better. So I'm going to put one roughly where the hip would be, where his, uh, his, you know, his leg would bend from. So it would be right here. Click there. The next one would be right in the knee. So you generally want to put it more or less in the center of mass. That'll give you the best um, deformation. And then in the center of where the joint would be. However, for certain things like the knee and the elbow, those tend to bend a little more from the front. So I'm actually going to go not directly in the middle, not all the way to the end, but somewhere in between. So like, you know, one quarter from the outside. So we're going to go here to here. Then I need to go to my ankle, which is roughly here. And then this is a little bit different. We want to go to the ball of the foot. So basically you have your toes and then your toes go right here. You have like the ball and then you have your heel. Um, I want to go where, where the ball is. So we're going to go right here and we're going to go to the bottom because you pivot from the bottom. And then we're just going to go straight out like that to where the toes are. Okay. And you want to go right to the tip of the toes, but I want to go straight with this. So we're going to go like that. And then I will hit enter and we will have a joint chain. There you go. Okay. Now, this is actually not going to be right, because if you look, you will see, I just tap spacebar and then uh, hover your mouse over another area, and then you tap spacebar. That's how you make that work. Sometimes it doesn't do it, apparently. Uh, but you see, it drew it right on the origin line. I need it to be over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap spacebar, and then I'm going to go front view, tap spacebar, and I'm going to move these uh, this way. I'm going to do the same thing as before. This time, I'll just click on this to do shading x-ray. Uh, and I'm also going to click on this to do wireframe on shaded. I'm going to take the whole thing and I'm just going to move it over. So I hit W for the move tool. I'm going to move it over uh, roughly to about here because, um, you know, your hips, uh, your greater trochanter is on the outside. And then I'll take this guy and then I'm just going to push him right to the center. I'm going to take this one, push this one right to the center. And then um, the bottom ones are going to be a little bit more difficult. I'm actually going to do those from the uh, front or from the perspective view. It'll probably be a little bit easier. Again, I'm going to put wireframe on shaded. And I'm just going to, with this step selected, if I hit the down or up arrow, it moves up and down the joint chain. So I'm just going to hit down. I'm going to move this over. And then I'll hit down. And then I'm going to move this over. Okay. Now, the next thing I need to do is this. Uh, what you will notice is, um, well, you might not notice, is that the orientation is now off. You want the joint, the arrow, see this arrow pointing down? It should be pointing to the next joint chain, but you see that now they are no longer following the joint chain. They're kind of going at weird directions, and that's because I moved them. So I'm going to go to the first one, and we're just going to go skeleton, and I'm going to go orient joints. And now you're going to see it's going to realign. See how that arrow is pointing down now, my X axis? is pointing down the joint chain, which is much preferred, okay? You pretty much want to follow where the flexion points are of uh, whatever it is you're making. So if you're doing an animal, you know, you put them on the main joint. Now, you'll notice I didn't put ones for toes because we don't, we're not bending the toes. The toes in general bend as one um, whole unit. You're not going to see multiple, um, you know, you're not going to see the phalange down here. So it doesn't really matter. Um, so we just did hip down to uh, the toe area here. Now what I'm going to do is I need to name this. So I'm just going to, with this selected, go modify, um, search and replace names. So you can name them manually. I could just click on this, but this is actually a little bit easier. I'm going to search for joint. So that's joint. This was joint one, joint two, joint three. And we're going to replace with leg underscore L underscore JNT. Oops, not JNT for joint, and then I'll hit replace. And you can see it's going to take anything that's had the word joint in it, which is just the one. So that's leg, L, joint, 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 all the way down to five. Okay. And that just makes it a little bit easier. And so now you see we have a leg. 
Do not worry about doing the other side. We're going to flip all these to do the other side. So let's go ahead and just do uh, the chest area here. Okay, so I'm going to switch. Um, hopefully, come on, you can do it. There it goes. We're going to go back to the side view. Come on. There it goes. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to do our spine going up. Okay, so this, uh, the spine actually does pivot more from the back, but I'm actually going to keep it in the center just to make things a little bit easier as far as, again, um, flexion is concerned. So we're going to go skeleton, create joints, and I'm going to start right at, uh, where we'll say right about here, just kind of above that, but very slightly. I'm going to start here. And then what I'm going to do is just kind of go up uh, every so often, sort of in the center part here. So we're going to go boom, boom, boom. To right about where the rib cage is, a little bit higher than we need to, um, because this area in general doesn't flex, right? Your chest, if you turn to the side, you'll see your chest, it maintains a solid shape. So we actually don't put any joints in here, because you gotta remember, these are all gonna flex. I don't want this area to flex. So I'm gonna go up to here. Then what I'm gonna do is go all the way up to the base of the neck, which again would be back here, but we're gonna put it roughly, we'll go right here, okay? Then I'm going to go to the um, base of the head, which would be right, usually a little bit below the ear. So basically, we're going to go right here. So kind of this is where the head's going to pivot from. And then it seems weird, but we put one at the top. You always put an end joint as well, like that. And then we'll just hit enter. Okay. And now we've got our spine uh, going up, and that looks uh, acceptable. Okay. Now, I'm not going to need to move these because they should be right on center, and they are right on center, so that makes things a little bit easier. Uh, but I do need to rename them, so I'm just going to go Modify, uh, Search and Replace Names, and we'll, again, we'll search for Joint, and this time, instead of Leg, we'll do Spine, and I'll hit Replace. And then these ones need to be named um, uh, you know, differently. So I'm going to select this one, and we'll just call this one. I'm going to take that 7 out. We'll put a 1 there, and instead of Spine, I'm going to call it Neck. Neck underscore L underscore actually shouldn't have done L either those should have been C so that was a big mistake by me which is cool because now I get to rename all of these and take these L's and put C C obviously for for center so just go through and uh, rename uh, all the L's with a C so you can see why um, why we like to do the search and replace names because it's a lot faster than having to do it manually such as I am doing right now. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead. This will be next C, and then this will be head. So, uh, oops, yeah, take that out. We'll make that one, and then we'll put a C instead of L for center, and then this will be head. I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this. So Control C, Enter, and then we'll select this one here. Control V, but make this joint two because it's the second head joint. Voila. So now uh, we've got a spine that's going up and we've got the head and neck and that looks pretty acceptable. Okay. Let's go ahead and do the arm. Okay. So I guess we'll just do, we'll do the arm from the side. It's probably mostly to the side, although it definitely needs a little bit more help here, but we'll just do the best we can. Um, actually, you know what? We're going to do this. Go to the front view and we need to make the clavicle first. So let's go ahead and put the clavicle because you can shrug your shoulders. So I'm going to hit Y because the last tool I used was, so it's Y like yellow, uh, was the spine tool or the joint tool. So that should make it pretty easy. You want to put it roughly where the beginning, you know, where it would meet the sternum. So we're going to put it right here. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is put um, the, uh, yeah, well, you know, we'll just do it from the front. Um, so then I'm going to put roughly where the shoulder joint would be. So we'll put it right, we'll say here and then the elbow here and then the wrist here. I'm not going to do the hand yet. We'll do that in a little bit. Okay, good. So now what I want to do is just reposition those because those are not going to be in the correct, correct spot. So I'm just going to go to the side view here and I can definitely see that they are pretty far off. Okay, so the clavicle, I'm going to move it a little bit back because I want it to be a little bit more centered. Okay, so that's the clavicle joint. And then here's the shoulder. That's actually pretty good. The elbow actually needs to be pushed back more. So I'm going to push that back. And then I'm going to take the wrist and push that forward. All right. Now let's look at this in perspective and see what it looks like. So I'm just tapping space bar, tapping space bar. And, you know, I feel like this needs to be uh, up a little bit. So I'm going to push this up this way just a touch because it feels a little bit. And we'll push it back just a little bit. 
and the wrist is probably is a little bit um let's go pull that down a little bit okay so we'll call that good um I mean, since i did move these i'm gonna have to do that orient joint thing so i'm gonna select the very first one go skeleton and we're gonna do orient joint and you'll just see it kind of reorients them uh using their current positions all right so uh, that looks acceptable. Do the same things before. We're gonna do modify, search and replace names, modify, search and replace names. Uh, the, uh, still look for joint. This time we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna write arm. And we can leave the L this time like we should have to be before. Um, but do, good, okay. Now we need to do the hands. So the hands can be kind of hard. There's a lot of joints in there, um, but we'll, we'll do the best we can. Um, there's a lot of different things you can do here. I'm just going to use um, the skeleton tool, um, create joint, and then this is going to take a bit of work, but I'm going to make it as simple as possible. I'm going to put the wireframe on shaded so I can see the model a little bit better. Now with the joint, you can actually go to any of these tool settings by um, going to create joints. Instead of clicking on create joints, I can click on the option box. I'm going to click on the option box. It's going to bring up uh, these options. We're going to choose projected center. I also am going to change uh, off this uh, variable bone setting. Um, what that's doing is that you may have noticed that, see how these are small and then they get big. They do it based on the uh, length. Uh, that's actually really annoying. So I'm going to turn that off. I should have turned that off at the beginning, but I just didn't bother. So now we need to do uh, this. What projected centering is going to do is that you can click directly on the model and it will try to find the center of the model when you draw the joint. So you just click directly on it. It's not the most accurate. Uh, that's why I don't like using it for the legs or the arms. However, um, for the fingers, which I'd also honestly wouldn't do this normally, but it'll be a little bit quicker and easier to do on stuff that's sort of, this is very three dimensional. It's not really on a plane. Um, so we're gonna do these thumb joints. So first one should be roughly here, right? Cause that's where you start to move your thumb. And then we'll put one here, then one here. And then lastly, you just wanna go right to the tip and put one there. All right, good. Then just hit enter. And with that selected, go um, modify, search and replace names. And we'll just do thumb, oh, can I undo that? Great, okay. We're gonna replace arm with thumb. And then we'll hit uh, uh, apply or replace, doesn't matter. Uh, and that will replace it with thumb. Now let's go ahead and we'll hit Y, which brings up our last tool and we need to put ones for the fingers here. So I'm gonna put one, I'm gonna kinda of try and make myself centered with it here. So I'm like going across it and we'll put one here, 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 and then I'm gonna go to the very tip here. Oops, come on, there. I'll hit enter. And then what I'm gonna do is just do, again, modify, search and replace names. And instead of thumb, this will be index, index, and we'll hit apply. If you hit apply, it leaves the window open. So now I'm just gonna hit Y to bring the last tool I just used up, which again was the joint tool. So I'm gonna click here, 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 and then we'll put one right at the tip and then I'll hit enter. So I have this one selected and this one is middle, middle, okay. And we'll hit apply. All right, we'll hit Y again and I'm gonna click here. I don't really like that, I'm gonna undo, click here, here, here and there okay and then we'll hit enter and this one is ring okay and then we'll hit apply and then we'll hit y and then i'm gonna do my pinky so we'll go here 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 and then there enter and we'll just make this the pinky pinky and we'll just hit replace this time so it executes and closes out great so now we have those finger joints they're not the greatest um, they're kind of big, so they're kind of hard to see. So what we can do is I'm just going to go to display, uh, animation, and we'll do joint size. And then I can just generally make these smaller by dragging the slider over. And that's just easier to work with. So I need all these parented to this. So I can just grab them all and then lastly select this. So I'm going to grab this one. I'm just going to hit Q, so I just select. And I'm going to hold Shift and click. Still holding Shift and click on each one of these. So I grab all of them and then lastly select the wrist and hit P. And now they are parented to that. And this arm, this arm should be parented to here. So I'm gonna click there and then click here and hit P. That way when this rotates, um, you know, the chest rotates, uh, it'll move the arm with it. Makes sense, right? Yes, it does. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the um, jaw joint. Um, although I don't think, I don't even think my guy has an open mouth, does he? I think he has like, I think he, yeah, he doesn't even have a mouth that can open. Um, so 
but if you do have a jaw joint, in case you're doing like a creature or something, you want to be able to have that. We're just going to go to side view here. And I'm just going to go ahead and uh, hit Y because the last tool I used was the jaw tool or the joint tool. And I'm going to go roughly to where the ear is here and then to the chin and then hit enter. And then um, we'll just do modify, search and replace names and joint and come on. And we'll just say jaw and make it a C instead and we'll hit apply. Okay, close. Now, uh, another thing I would like to do is put a joint that's roughly on the center where this eyeball is. So to do that, I'm going to select just the eyeball and I'm going to hit shift I. Okay, or you can go to show, uh, isolate selected, view selected. So here we can see it right there. I'm going to hit Y for my tool again, and I'm going to hold V for point snap and just point snap it right there. So because that's right in the center, right? And then I'll hit enter. That's great. Um, I'm going to have, um, I'm going to select nothing. So make sure you click on nothing and hit shift I. That'll bring everything back. Uh, I'll click back on the joint. And then what I'm going to do is tap space bar. And I'm going to go to the front view because that's not going to actually position it. I thought I was in the front view. Was I not? Oh. Um, that's not actually going to position it in the right spot because it's right on the edge. So with it selected, I'll hit W for the move tool. I'm going to hold uh, V for point snap. And I'm just going to pull it in until it snaps to the center of the eye this way. And once that's good, you can click off. And now we have the eyeball. And again, I'm just going to do modify, search and replace names. And we'll just, um, we'll do um, I, L, all right, and replace. Okay, great. Uh, then we'll tap space bar, tap space bar. Okay, um, let me see. Do I have most of the tunes? Um, usually I do a hips override as well. Um, let's do this. So uh, I want to make another joint, but I put it roughly where this one is without having the geometry in the way. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add this onto a layer. So select the geometry. Let's select the eyeballs too, so that it's all of it, okay? And we're gonna add that to a new layer. So you can go over here and you click the ball and paper. If you don't have channel box open, it's this little thing here. Click on that, it's gonna add a new layer, and we'll just call this one um, geometry, okay? And we'll hit this, and then we'll just turn that off. Now what I want to do is put a joint that's roughly right here that's uh, kind of like this one. So what we're going to do is hit Y because last tool I used again was the skeleton tool. I'm going to hold V for point snap and I'm going to click right here. What's going to happen is the closest thing to it is going to snap there. If I click on it, it's just going to select it. But if I hold V and click here, it'll automatically create it right there because that's the closest thing. Oops. Then we'll hit enter. Again, modify, search and replace names. I could just manually name it, but I think it's almost easier just to do it this way. So I'm gonna call this one um, hips override underscore C underscore J and T, and we'll hit replace. Great, and that looks right. So what I wanna do now is I'm gonna take this one, and then we're gonna go to this, which is the hips override joint. If you can't get to it, another thing you could do is we can do this. We're gonna have to use this anyway later. So go to Windows, um, Outliner, it's going to show up right here. I like to snap it in the corner here. So I'm just going to drag it over here till it says, let's snap there. So you might be able to have an easier time trying to select it here. Basically, it shows all the items that are like proper items. So what I want to do is grab this thing, uh, the leg joint, and then I'll hold control and click here. Okay. And then we'll hit P. So now I can rotate this to move that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take the spine and then I'm going to hold control and click uh, the hips override. Um, I'm sorry, you want the hips override and then the spine and then hit P, okay? And then we need to parent, um, we need to parent also the, the jaw joint to the head, P, and the eyeball to the head, P, okay? Now, normally I would go through and orient all these joints, but because of time constraints and things, and we're trying to, you know, uh, boogie and get these things done as quickly as possible, I think we can probably get away uh, without doing some of it, it would be nice if these hands were more correct. Um, hmm. now I got an idea about we can fix that. We'll do that a different time. Okay, so we're going to call that good. The next thing to do is to, um, yeah, because I don't want to get this too long. Uh, we need to mirror these joints. So the easiest way to do that is to select this one. So we got to do one at a time. So we're going to select this guy, and then we're going to go to Skeleton, Mirror Joints, hit the option box. And what you want to do is we want to do on the Y, Z axis, okay? So that means basically it's the opposite. So I want to, if you look at, see how X is going this way? I want it to flip on X, so that means Y, Z. And I want to do behavior. We're going to search for underscore L, because that's on the name. See how it says underscore L? I want it to become underscore R, and then we'll hit apply. 
And there you go. We're gonna grab this one, same thing, apply. And then the eyeball also needs to be done. So select the eyeball, but this time do orientation, not behavior. Uh, and then we'll hit mirror and there you go. Now we have a complete skeleton uh, for our guy. I'm gonna put this on. Uh, let's put wireframe on shaded off. And you can see now we have a skeleton that fits inside of our dude and or dudette. And we can start using this um, and we will bind it in the next video.